All right, everybody, welcome back. We got the FAQ section with Miss Edna Keep. Round of applause, round of applause. All right, cool. So, like <laughs> so Edna, yeah. here we go. First question. How do I finance my first deal? Well, uh, lots of people use their home equity line of credit to finance their first deal. That's what we did. Uh, we were very fortunate in our market at the time when we started. Our personal home had almost doubled in value between 2002 and 2007. So we accessed our uh, home equity line of credit to buy our first two properties. Love it. How much should I look to make as a multifamily investor? You know, uh, when we were, took our training through the Robert Kiyosaki Group, they told us if you cash flow 50 bucks a door, you buy that property. Uh, you know, that, the, and, but again, they mostly focused on single family homes. Right. And uh, there were a lot of smaller uh, houses like the, the first trainer we started with that, that uh, was Russ Whitney, who actually uh, ended up, uh, Robert Kiyosaki was the face of his company. But anyway, wow. um, $50 a door. So when we started buying, we thought, well, heck, we can double that in our market at least. So we were focused on $100 a door. But lots of times now with multifamily, we're $200 to two to three four hundred dollars a month a door holy cow that's amazing all right next next question i told edna i wouldn't talk over this whole thing okay next question how do i find a good partner you know the you wanna you wanna know yourself first that's the first thing like what are you good at and then your partner should be complimentary, not the same as you, because uh, otherwise you're going to be fighting over doing the same stuff. Nobody's <laughs> going to want to do the other stuff. Right. So one of the things that I did, and I learned this actually through Dan Sullivan, um, he had us all take a Colby A index, K-O-L-B-E. And what that does is it, it shows you how you operate and that's naturally operate. If you had your druthers, how would you just naturally do stuff? And so he, we, there's, a, there's a number that you get, four digit number, and he would actually put that on our name tag at every uh, co coaching event we went to. Right. And, and I realized after the importance of that, because you talk to people differently based on that, because different people relate differently, different people want more detail, facts and figures, more right. other people are high level. Like if you get too in the weeds with me, my eyes just glaze over and I just <laughs> fall asleep. I just need high level when I'm looking at anything, which is why I need team members who will dive deep, deep into the details. So you need to know yourself first mm -hmm. so you can know who you need to have as a partner, somebody who's got complementary skills. Excellent advice. I do the same thing. If you get too far into any analysis, I'm going to zone out. My eyes get real glossy, like you said, and then that's just kind of it. Like <laughs> that's yeah. kind of it. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next question, Enda. How do I overcome having no experience in multifamily investing? Get around like-minded people. You know, <laughs> if it's, it's anything. If you're going to take up running and you've never ran before, you probably need a running coach or you have to go start running with people who actually know what they're doing. Don't run with people who are always got sore legs and sore knees and sore backs. Don't run with those people. They're probably running wrong. But you know what I mean? If you got to be around like-minded people so that it, it's an everyday activity, not something that's, oh my God, so far out there, you can't imagine it. I like it. So I'm going to go a little off script here because one of the questions that, uh, the last question that I had, which was where do I start if I have little, little money, I think you've answered that a couple times already. So I wanted this time instead, I'm going to ask you, how can people learn? Where can people learn more on real estate investing and multifamily investing? Well, you know, there's there's general ways to learn. You can read books, you can get on webinars, you can watch YouTube videos. You know, I, I see that happening quite frequently, actually, people because there is a ton of information on there. Where I find that that what happens to people is there's so much information out there that nobody can put it into a system. So you need to have a system. I, what do you do? What do you do first and then second and then third and then right. fourth to, to make that multifamily happen? That includes knowing how to raise capital, knowing how to find the right deal, knowing how to analyze the deal, different stuff like that. You know, it, you, you can get on the rabbit hole of listening to YouTube videos and you can be there for months and never actually do anything. Right. So, you know, find, find one thing you want to do and then follow it. Um, 
that was the one thing I found a little challenging with uh, Kiyosaki's training is we got hit with a fire hose. There was so much, like we had no idea. And then we were just taught all these different strategies. I say, pick one strategy, follow it till you're successful and then start branching off into other strategies. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Miss Edna Keep, the beast herself. <laughs> it has been such a pleasure being able to interview you and talk to you, Edna, and to ask you these FAQs. And I'm not saying this just for camera. I told Edna this off camera. I'm going to tell her on camera as well. I can feel the energy. I can feel the brightness in your spirit, and I love it. And I, I'm definitely somebody who's going to I'm gonna keep in pocket. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you contact Miss Edna and reach out to her. Ask her questions. See if you can work with her. See if you can take some training. Get her as a coach. My God, because my God, if you can have this kind of energy just off camera, <laughs> I can only imagine a one-on-one -on -one conversation that could be had. So, Edna, thank you again <laughs> oh, so, so much. Oh, thanks so much, Perry. Yeah. It was my absolute pleasure, my pleasure, Oliver, to be on your show. It was, uh, it was so nice to chat with you. Hey, the pleasure was all mine, Edna. Thank you again so much. Ladies and gentlemen, again, one more time, round of applause. Miss Edna Keith. <laughs> I'm going to steal that. I, I love that. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm at a stadium. <laughs> I'm glad. It is something I'm working on to make sure I have some of these sound bites and things like that. Because it brings like energy it. to the podcast. So I love it. So it does. Again, thank you so much, Edna. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going we're gonna to stop here. We appreciate you. Make sure you tune into the next episode. Make sure you go check out Edna's uh, episode that was before this. If you hadn't listened to it, if you're listening to it now, go back and listen again. Pick up some stuff, learn it, implement it. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, thanks so much.